Hello, investors and traders. This video will explain strategies and techniques in the average true range, commonly known as the ATR indicator. This episode will go over how to use this technical indicator in your investing or trading strategy. As usual, one indicator does not make a strategy and should be coupled with other indicators and philosophies. You know the catchphrase, study it, analyze it, adapt it. Average true range or ATR is a technical indicator that can tell you how volatile a stock has been on average over a specified period. ATR is used for setting exit level as part of your risk management strategy. It can also give you a sense of how strong prices moves are, which is helpful if you're trying to identify the start of a trend. In short, ATR takes a holistic look at a stock's price over a set period and smooths them out into a single number expressed as a dollar amount. ATR is based on the concept of true range, which is basically a way of measuring a stock's daily trading range that accounts for gap openings, i.e. when a stock opens sharply higher or lower relative to the previous day's closing price. ATR, to simplify the definition, is how much is the stock moving in a defined period. Some key takeaways for the ATR before we get started is the ATR indicator measures volatility. Multi-year highs and lows are very important. This indicator can predict market reversals. Low or high ATR values could lead to a major and initial breakouts. Each reading or levels of the ATR is a standalone. So every stock will have a different level ATR. Default settings is usually 14. Average true rain for a 14 day period. Some traders use 14, 20, and 22 days. All right, let's get started. I want to look at the ATR when we are talking about the overall market picture. To simplify, the ATR is really a way at looking at the market, at gauging its volatility. Volatility can be important as it could be your gasoline on your weight of evidence on your macro overview. As you know, I am a top-down investor. The top-down approach to investing focuses on the big picture or how the overall market is trending. Then it will look at the performance of sectors or industries and ultimately stock prices. If the sector is doing well, chances are the stocks in those industries will also do well. Please watch the video on this channel for the top-down philosophy and my investment philosophy. Okay, that was my shameless plug. ATR is based on absolute price changes, not percentage changes. Accordingly, higher price stocks typically have ATR values than lower price stocks. Changing ATR values indicate changes in volatility. Volatility has increased because of sharp moves either up or down. If ATR is shrinking, it means that the stock has less volatile over the period. So let's focus on the macro if multi-year highs are reached. It is a good sign something is going to happen. Let's look back at the history of changing trends. Most recently, COVID-19, September 11th, and how the ATR performed. 
they reached multiple year highs. So you might wait for this perfect setup a year or two, but the results are great. Not only the results are great, but in a time of total uncertainty, this indicator will build a weight of evidence to make things clear. That is great. We can use the ATR to help us every one to two years on the overall market. But how can we use the ATR more on a daily basis? We can use the ATR in investing and trading. Some ideas on the ATR are targets. If we know that the average range and the average expected range of a market is, let's say, five dollars, then we are in a then we are in a trading range. The security goes to five dollars in the in the direction we want. We might not expect there to be too much more of a positive price. Because over the last 14 days, that tends to be the likely range. So this could be an example of taking some profits or all. Of course, another way of thinking is to let your profits run. Or the stock is breaking out, which happens sometimes with the ATR. But it's still an interesting way of thinking and taking profits. This is one use of the ATR. Next, entry points. ATR could be used for getting into the trade when the stock fades back to the low side of the ATR because of the past 14 days, that's pretty much on average what it's done. When there is a range, you can enter a stock or exit a stock, specifically good for day traders but even swing traders. This way of trading should be coupled with other methodologies or philosophies. Filters. You can use it as a filter within individual trade ideas. Put into the, sh into the search, show me stocks with an ATR of over X. Or you don't want volatility, show me stocks under ATRX, explosive breakout trades. Traders use ATR to gauge the enthusiasm behind a stock move. Strong moves either up or down are often accompanied by expanding ATR values. This is especially true at the beginning of a trend. For example, a break of support or resistance with an increased ATR tends to lead to validate the ATR. Risk management. ATR is used to set stop losses. Say a trader sees a stock trending near support level and the stock has an ATR of 11. He or she might place a stop loss at a bit more than 11 below support so that a one-day move through that support might not trigger the order. Remember, too, that there's no guarantee an order will be executed at or near your stop price. Traders can use a strategy called a chandelier exit, which uses ATR to set trailing stops and is designed to help traders ride a trend while managing the risk of an early exit in the event of a temporary reversal. A common approach is set a trailing stop 3 22-day 20, ATRs below each new high in an uptrending stock or over each new low in a downtrending one. With a trailing stop, the stop price can tick up or down to account for changes in the stock's price. Then, if the stock changes direction, the stock price will freeze at its new level. If the stock then hits the new stop price, it becomes a market order. So if the stock has 22-day ATR of 2, 
then you would set your trailing stop six dollars above or below the current market price the idea is to have a buffer that is three times the current volatility of the stock as a result when volatility as measured by the ATR is high you have a large buffer when which can give a stock more room to swing so be sure you're comfortable with that when it is low your buffer is smaller of course whether 3 22 day ATR works for you will depend on your risk tolerance all right let's go to the chart let's try to figure out how to use average true range in real world settings as mentioned before I am a top down trader so I'm gonna first try to use the ATR to tell me the macro view I look back at multi-year especially highs of huge volatility let's go back to this chart over here we see at the beginning of the downfall we hit multi-year highs on the ATR at the end when it reached a pinnacle on the low side we reach all-time highs at the ATR so again if we go back in history and we t try to time we try to anticipate disasters COVID-19 September 11 Lehman Brothers where was the ATR the ATR was at all-time highs let's leave the ATR and couple it with another indicator the MACD or a stochastic or something that just breaks the resistance off to the races again what is the macro how do you use the ATR for the macro this might only help once every year or once every two years but invaluable to make a home run those days a home run that could change your life just like to also throw in on the macro approach when the ATR is not moving up and down a lot it's sort of like in a basing phase or getting ready to make a move probably in the opposite direction of where it has been trending again playing a little bit not on a rule based system but just watch when the ATR is not moving up and down a lot based on current averages it could signify a move to the downtrend or the uptrend usually when a, a stock or a market is basing ATR goes nowhere it doesn't have high volatility usually when the stock is ready to rock and roll to the upside or the downside it has huge volatility next the ATR can be used for price targets if we know that the ATR is at hmm, ten dollars for the last 14 days and it's trending in that direction we can take profits every time it reaches up to ten dollars or every time it goes below ten dollars so if the QQs are trading every time it goes ten dollars eight dollars nine dollars take some profits off the top and then when it goes lower and it reaches six dollars five dollars on the low side it could be an entry point price targets on the upside and entry points on the low side many traders many investors use the average true range for stop losses we go back to the left of the chart and we see an area where we could put a stop loss and then we add the average true range to it 
many times at the beginning of all our trading careers, we go back to the left, put a stop loss. The stop loss just gets broken, gets executed, and then goes right back up. But if you use the ATR as a stop loss, the chances of it going down to that level will not be there because it is the average true range unless it's breaking a trend and you're off to the races on either side. The ATR is a powerful indicator. It's not a trend indicator or tell you a bullish or a bearish move. But it can help you build a weight of evidence on the macro, on the individual stocks. It can give you a great entry point. Many traders and investors use it on the stop loss or risk management. It's definitely an indicator that should be looked at inside of your trading system. In conclusion, the ATR indicator measures volatility. Volatility is very important when trading and investing. The hidden secret that I can give you is look at multi-year highs and multi-year lows. This has given me a weight of evidence, especially when there is a, an era of mystery of what's going on in the market. Is it a black box where you can use the ATR and nothing else? No. But does it turn the favor? Does the weight go to one way or the other? When the ATR is at a multi-year high, yes. So we can predict market reversals. We use it to predict market turning points. Low or high ATR values could lead to a major and initial breakouts. Basing, basing, basing ATR, high volatility. What would that mean? If the ATR is going 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, and suddenly 5, 10, 15, obviously there is something happen, happening. Each reading or levels of the ATR is a standalone. So if you're looking at the QQQs, they will have a different ATR number than the spiders, DAOs, Bitcoin. Default settings is usually 14. Some investors use 14, 20, and 22 days. 20, 20 days and 22 days based on the months. I recommend the ATR for trading and investors. Scanning high volatility stocks could be a great tool, especially in an overbought market. Somebody looking for a low volatility portfolio can go the opposite direction and scan for low ATRs, which would thus bring a low alpha reading. And of course, we use it for setting stop losses or our risk management. Remember, the ATR, average true range, is not a trend indicator. If you like this video, hit the like button and please subscribe for other videos so you can study it, analyze it, adapt it, 